Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Fable 2. We were continuing on in the Tattered Spire. Garth has disappeared. There's also a missing guard, which is very unusual in the Spire. But we're going to go see what's up with that. We had to kill Bob. Oh, no, Bob. I love that guy. And as you can see, you can also look up at the Spire and how menacing it looks. You know, the only source of light is probably lanterns or something, you know, so that the the workers can see what they're doing, but it looks like this is where the guard is. And ooh, he doesn't look in good shape. He's also missing his collar, which is incredibly suspicious in the spire. But we can take his weapons, which I will definitely take. I'll also take some healing potions. Thank you very much. Again, hero. You came oh, to it's see. Garth! But you're no good to either of us with that collar on. There. I've removed it. It took me years to focus enough will to destroy our collars. And that guard. I've got nothing left. So when trouble comes, it's up to you. Oh, uh, and out this of the is spire why I is love Garth. Chamber. So ready yourself, and let's he move. He is such a badass. Completely stayed sane for all of these years because he knew one day that he would be saved. Wayne, that's the will user. That is and will, no and it's corner. ironic because he's the will Shame. user. He's a user of will, but I mean, you gotta think about how much willpower and you know strength that Garth has. It just blows my mind, which is probably why he's my favorite hero. Plus, I just, like I said, I really, really like his mannerisms and things like that, too. He's just such a really cool character. But, unfortunately, like he said, he's been in the Spire for years and years and years and has absolutely no power to fight. He's probably got no physical strength, you know, so we have to do all the fighting for him. Now, luckily, like I said, we didn't lose any weight or anything. We're still a buff as hell. Um, we probably are fed a little better than the prisoners, though, I imagine. So luckily, all of our skills and stuff that we had when we left for the Spire are still here. So you're still very, very strong. Um, you can now use your spells, which is awesome if you're a spell user. And you're basically going to kick ass and do a jailbreak. So we're getting out of the Spire. We've had enough of this place. Um, unfortunately, the weapons that we're getting aren't the greatest. So you just gotta kind of take it for what it's worth. You get a really rapid fire pistol, which is pretty cool. You can fire a couple shots off it, you know, once. Kind of vary it up a little bit. This is also a really good chance to get all your experience back. So, you know, if you walked into the spire not knowing you were going to lose experience or, you know, you really cherished your morale and you did a lot of the good choices and you ended up losing a lot more experience than you thought you would, then this is really good for this too. I, I like that the game made up for it. Um, you know, they give you this awesome kind of jailbreak part where you get to get a lot of your experience back. Unfortunately, killing guards doesn't get you morale, which, in my opinion, it should, because these people are terrible. Although, I guess, you know, come to think of it, this is... The other thing I really like about the Spire is that, you know, Fable's a game that's based around morale, and, you know, your choices matter. Everything you do or everything you don't do, you know, changes your life and other people's lives around you. But the Spire is one of those places that really makes you think about, you, you know, your choices because, I mean, really, these guys seem bad, but do they have a choice? I mean, um, they can't leave the Spire. They have the collars just like we did. There's absolutely no way that they can leave. Um, I mean, granted, they don't have to be such dicks about it, but really, it just kind of makes you think. This whole place is terrible, and I cannot wait to get out. Garth also cannot die, so don't worry if he starts to get hit. Um, there's no physical way that he can die, and you know you can't get like a game over or anything like that. There's no game overs in this game. So if he starts getting hit, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Just focus on one guy at a time. This can be a little overwhelming, uh, because there's a lot of guards. And you have no items. So, you know, you, you have a couple healing items, but that's it. And unfortunately, we also have to watch these prisoners as we make our escape. But, you know, our life over there is, I guess, when it comes down to it. I've, I did what I could. I fed some of you, and 
I wasn't mean like all the other guards. But it kind of makes you... It kind of makes you feel... Like, hopeless and... Vulnerable. In a way. Anyways. I'm just on my soapbox about how much I really like the Spire. It's very, very similar to the prison section in the first fable, obviously. You know, where you were sent to... Bargate Prison by Jack of Blades, and you managed to escape as well and save your mother. Um, very, very similar concept. And if you get knocked out, you also lose experience here. But luckily, uh, the game is pretty generous, and you don't lose a lot of experience in this area if you get knocked out. Mostly just because, you know, you are so weak com in comparison to how you usually are. So, we'll just take out these guys here. I can use my health potions, but I think I actually have to go to the menu manually and use them, which is kind of a pain in the arse, but I do have two of them that I can use if I need them. I think I can also level up in the Spire. I've never really tried, but as you can see, I still have plenty of experience. Um, I, I left the Crucible with 40,000 general experience. I did that on purpose, obviously, so that I could make some... Um, disobe disobedient choices and still have a lot of experience. But I'm gonna spend that later. I'm gonna worry about getting the hell out of this place first. We're not leaving until the Commandant is dead. I know what you're thinking, but it's not revenge I'm after. Revenge is just a fortunate byproduct. So we need to find the Commandant. A new load of recruits is being brought in. Take a look. Oh boy. Now we need to find the commandant. Oh, I think I think that's where he I is. All the promise you've shown. You betray me. Lord Lucian will kill me for failing to keep order. But I am obedient. And so before he does, I will eliminate you. I also wish it was possible to look like the Commandant. I, even though he is just a terrible, terrible man. Like, his character design for an evil character, I think, is absolutely awesome. Like, if you could make your character look like that, that would be absolutely amazing. The other really cool thing about the Commandant is that you get buttloads, and I mean buttloads of experience when you, when you hit him. Um, so, you know, you're going to lose some experience in this fight, which is expected. He's gonna knock you out. He's pretty powerful, but by hitting him, you get a lot of experience. As you can see, there's just like gems and experience orbs just like falling out of his body when you hit him. Now, you can see they're on the ground, but I can't pick them up, so again, just like when we lose experience, there's a lot of experience on the ground, um, but it's kind of weird because even though we're gaining it, we can't pick it up, so that's kind of peculiar. So if you can't pick up the experience you're getting from the Commandant, don't worry, that's not a glitch or anything. That's supposed to happen. I'm gonna use my health potion here before I die. Get rid of the little grunts. And hopefully kill the Commandant. It's really nice for anger management to take out all the years of having to do what he says. Who's the obedient one now? Which is kind of cool because it's just like turning tables on him, you know, he's all high and mighty on obedience, but now he's scared of, you know, Lucian and being disobedient towards him. Which is another really cool part of this. But he takes a fair bit to take down. There we go. And Garth is an experienced dealing whore because he takes all of the experience. But, you know what, it's worth it because he goes totally Super Saiyan and he gets all of his willpower back. And you get a little bit of the share as well, so... To protect me anymore. Yep, Garth is going to help us kick ass. And he's also going to let us get out of here, so thank you very much. Time to get the hell out of here. Commandant is dead. Lucian hopefully hasn't caught, you know, word of what we're doing yet. And hopefully we can escape with next to no problems. And now 
Garth is gonna show us how freaking awesome he is. He's gonna burn all the boats. And he's gonna certainly tell them that he's coming and we're coming and we're going to kick some ass. So, now you get Uber mega killing time. Basically, take out all of the guards that you see. Um, Garth is gonna be able to help you this time because he has all his bull power back. So you can work as a team or you can work separately, it's, it's up to you. Um, Garth is just gonna mind his own business, do his own thing. He can take enemies out on his own and kill them on his own, so that's pretty cool. You don't really need to help him. Um, keep in mind though that um, if he takes too much damage, he will kind of stumble for a moment and be stunned and won't be able to help you and enemies might be attracted to you. Um, that's the same with Hammer. When we went through Westcliff, she had the same thing. If you traveled with her, she would help you hit stuff, but if she got hit, she would kind of be stunned for a moment and wouldn't be able to help you, so... Luckily, with these characters being, you know, storyline and things like that, it's it's impossible for guards to get really, really hurt, so... Basically, go and kick ass. I really like this part as well, because it's just so action-packed and... You're really doing a lot of killing here. But we're certainly ruining Lucian's day, I mean, this is a project he's worked on I think for 10 years, he said. So... This is, this is 10 years of hard work gone just down the drain completely. But you know what, he killed our sister, so now I'm definitely getting my payback. You kill my sister, I ruin your hopes and your dreams of your disgusting, creepy spire place. So yeah, I don't really have much commentary other than that. Um, Garth also comes with a lot of spells. Blades is his favorite one. He's got Tornado. And that's about all he uses. He's got an awesome lightning spell, but he doesn't really use it a lot. I don't know why that is. And he's also got the fireballs. As you saw, he used the fireballs to like completely and utterly destroy those boats. Those boats didn't stand a chance. And now he's kind of just standing around. I think he's kind of like waiting. He, I think he just like expects me to have beaten these guys by now. But you know what? I take my time, Garth. Killing guards is a delicate procedure. And I don't have much health. But we're still doing pretty good, all things considered. With the weapons we have and, and things like that. It's really great that they give you everything back, including your willpower and things like that. Because you can use that. You know, if you're not a character that uses a lot of your weapons, then it's really nice that they give you your spells to use. Just kind of cleaning up these extra guys here. He also has Force Push, which is a really cool spell. There we go. And we're almost to the boats. We're almost ready to get out of here. There we go. Oh god, there's more of them. Where did these guys come from? Oh well. You wanna die? Oh, you can die too. No problem. I got room for all of you. So just hack and slash. Although, you know what? I think Lucian would probably be able to see what's going on right now because he has kind of like control and he can and all these guys are wearing collars. So you think that he'd be able to like see what's going on and you'd think that he would I don't know, do something about it? Maybe he can't. I'm pretty sure he's just like a powerless, soulless old man who just, you know, just watches over this whole operation, probably just sits there and does nothing. I also love the tornado spell, it's quite amusing. You just like whirl enemies around and there's they, they just ragged all, all over the place. I'll go ahead and get some skill experience. I haven't got a lot of skill experience for some reason. Get some of that while I'm here. We're so close to the boats. I hope he left like one boat for us to escape in or else that's gonna really suck. Hope you didn't get too carried away, Garth. Ah, oh, and here we are. Thank you. Oh, you did leave us a boat. Oh, how nice of you. Thank you. That was, that was considerate of you. If you want to live, I suggest you all get back on the ship with us. And we made it! Oh, hallelujah, we made it. We are leaving this dark, soulless, empty void of 
the Spire, and we're going to be going back to Albion after years and years and years of being here, so... We never have to see this place again. And we go back to Oakfield. And Garth is fully decked out. I he looks would great. Never, again. never would have thought that he, you know, had been prisoner for years. And waiting for us is my dog, my faithful friend, and Teresa, who didn't do anything for us. Thanks a lot. She probably saw what was going on too, and just chose to do absolutely nothing. Oh, it's so good to see you again, my little buddy. Hi, Teresa. As you can see, I'm awesome, and I rescued Garth. Been coming here every day for a week. He knew that you would return victorious, even before I did. Ten years. Welcome back, my friend. We were at the spire for you ten the years. And Garth, I welcome you too. Welcome me. You're in my way, so please step aside. You know much about the old kingdom. Enough to know you cannot destroy the spire. And. Anymore. Through all of that, we get Garth to join our all cause. Thank God, I would be so mad if we went through all that all right, for absolutely listen, nothing. But I promise nothing. I will go with Garth. Hammer is at the inn in Rookridge. You should see her before we talk again. She'll be overjoyed to know you're back. Oh, and here, you'll want this. And Teresa gives us all of our old stuff back. So all our old equipment, this includes furniture, potions, clothing, weapons, um, anything that you can possibly imagine. So everything is safe. Everything Take is as hand, it should God. be. We have a great deal to discuss. Do I have any choice? And we have now recruited our second hero back to the guild. We're only looking for the last one now. You have finally recruited the Hero of Will, but at no small price. Ten years have passed in the Spire, and Lucian knows he has a new enemy. So, 5,000 renown. You probably lost a lot of experience, but you probably gained a lot of experience as well. Had to suffer in the terrible, terrible place that is the Spire. But now that we're back, we get to see what we missed out in ten years. So, ten years... Um, of being gone, we get to see how Albion has changed, which I am super stoked for. Um, I'm back on track from where my uh, computer had uh, disappeared. Apparently I have finds from 10 years ago that they still remember, which is amazing. Um, this is when I did the Temple of Shadows quest and I completely killed everybody in town, which is kind of interesting. Um, I'm just going to resist arrest and just pause the game here. So, next video, I'm going to go and we're going to see some stuff that's changed in Albion. I'm going to go visit our family, go visit Hammer, and we're going to see, you know, what it is that we're going to be able to do now that we're back. So, thank you so very much for watching, everybody, and I hope that you will join me next time.